Today I'm going to be showing you how to make map animations inside DaVinci Resolve using Fusion. What is going on guys? Shooting Dave here. So good to see your faces. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you're new here and you don't know what I'm about, I'm a photographer from London that now lives here in Los Angeles and I make photo and video editing tutorials. So if that sounds of interest to you, then please do consider subscribing. If you saw my last video on creating dynamic shots, then you would have seen a little bit of a map animation showing the location as to where I was shooting. Now, this is the effect that I want to create using DaVinci Resolve and Fusion and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you've not seen it, then I'm going to insert it right now. First of all, I want to explain why you might want to use a map animation. You see, it is a great way of showing your location if you're shooting somewhere, or maybe you're going on a road trip and you want to map out that route. It's a great way of moving the viewer through the story in a very efficient manner, and it doesn't take a lot of space or time up in your timeline, and it's just a nice way of moving the story forwards. Speaking of which, let's get moving with this tutorial. First things first, we need a map to trace. So I simply headed to Google Maps, found the road that I wanted, and I took a screenshot of that. I then turned off all the menus so it showed just the map and the terrain without any road markings, and then I took a screenshot of that. Now be careful, you don't want to move your map at this point because you want them both to line up with each other for this effect to work. So the reason why we took two different screenshots, one with road markings and one without, is we're going to be using the one with the road markings as our guide, and the one without is what we're going to be putting the effect onto. So once you've done all of that, Head into DaVinci Resolve, create a Fusion comp for as long as you want this effect to last, and then jump straight into Fusion. Now there's not going to be many nodes in your node graph, there is only going to be a media out node. So to get started, hit shift and then spacebar, and we're going to type in background. This is so we can lock in our resolution, it can be any colour you want, it doesn't really matter, we're not going to be using it, it's just so we can lock in the resolution. Now for this effect I'm using 1920 by 1080 because that is what I'm filming on, and that's what all my videos are shot at. However, if you're shooting in 4 Okay, now you can set that to whatever resolution you need to. Once you've done that, head over to the media pool and bring in your two screenshots. Now for now, we're just gonna be using the one with the road markings on, so connect that to your background node using a merge node. Then once you've done that, select your media in node, hit shift and spacebar, type in transform and play with the values until basically it fills up the entire screen. We don't want any menus or any of the toolbars being present here, so just make sure the map occupies as much of the screen as possible. Once you've done that, select your merge node, hit shift and spacebar, then type in background. This is going to be the color of the route that is gonna be animating across the map. So pick any color that you fancy, and if you don't like it, don't worry, you can always go back and change it later. Now obviously this background layer is going to be covering the whole screen, but don't worry, we're gonna be creating creating a mask for it. So deselect everything, hit shift and spacebar and type in polygon or drag it in off of the toolbar. Now once you've done that, connect it to the blue side of the background node and this will create a mask. Make sure that invert is unticked and solid color is ticked and then we're gonna start creating a path for this mask to move across. Now zoom into the beginning of your map, you wanna find the start of the road where you want this animation to start from and then basically start clicking on the map, creating points every time the road changes direction. You can use Bezier curves if you prefer. If you find it hard to see what is going on, you can play with your border width and soft edge so you can see what is going on better. I set my soft edge to zero and my border width to 0.04 and I found this worked pretty good for me. Again, you can always change this later on if you don't like the values that you got currently. Once you've finished pathing out your road, what you want to do next is move your playhead to the beginning of the animation and then with the polygon tool selected, locate the length a slider inside of it and set that to zero and give it a keyframe. Then simply scrub through the animation to wherever you want the animation to stop and then select your length slider again, set the value to one and give it a keyframe. Now you're almost done, go back to where your screenshots are, disconnect the one with the road markings, reconnect the one with the clean markings on it and well there you have it, you are now done. You have an animated path along a map. Pretty cool right? Now you have the fundamentals of the map animation done, you can spice it up by adding some titles or some clouds animating through like I did. 
Now, I'll quickly show you how I did that. Basically, I just went into Photoshop, new document, 8K by 8K, and I made sure my colors were black and white, and then basically went filters, render, clouds, and that was it. So basically rendered out a huge, massive 8K square of clouds. And basically, I just saved that out as a JPEG and then brought that back into DaVinci Resolve. I then brought it into my media in pool and brought it into the Fusion, and I gave it a transform node and then merged it at the end just before my media out. I then set the blend mode to screen and then blend amount to 0.2 and on the transform node I animated it a little bit so it looked like it was moving and I scaled it up a bit as well so you can play with the size of the clouds to whatever you see fit. You can of course add any more masking on top of it if you fancy doing so yourself. And boom! There you have it, a nice simple map animation created inside DaVinci Resolve using the Fusion panel. It's super simple and super easy, and I think I'm gonna be using it a lot more in future road trips, depending on what the pandemic is doing. Anyway guys, that is all from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, or you wanna see any other tutorials, let me know down below in the comment section. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And as always guys, I've been at Shooting Dave, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!